Hello guys and welcome to the part number 10 of the note edited tutorial series. My name is Pavel Křupla from BlenderFig.com and this is gonna be the final result of this part. We are going to fix our edges or finish them so they keep being connected to the right sockets even when we are dragging the nose around and we will introduce some variation in our sockets. For this part they will be simple we will keep the circles and we will just change the color. So I hope you are excited and let's start coding. Okay, so here is where we ended up. The edges can calculate the position correctly, but once we start moving around the nodes, they are not being updated to the correct positions itself. So we need to somehow address, once we start moving with the nodes, then check out for the all connected edges and then we will easily update the position because we already got a function for that. So let's go ahead to the node. It's here. The node has a graphical node. This is here and we got Q graphics item for representation of the node. So let's go ahead and type graphics item reference the QT when I go here for example it's a uh, reference for PyQT4 but it doesn't actually matter and let's check out the events we can use accept accept drag enter leave move but these events are used for drag and drop so these are not the events we are going to need what's there next focus hover obscure map 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 mouse mouse double click event mouse move event awesome so there should be probably possibility to call something like this mouse move event we are going to rename this to event and I don't want to destroy anything what was already implemented here. So let's try this out. Okay, this works. So let's check out if it's actually moving. So I am moving. Shout out to the console. Yes, and I'm actually moving. Awesome. So what does it mean for us? We can go ahead and call self, node and update connected edges like this. And now we are going to implement this function. So we got get socket position, we got our inputs, outputs for the sockets. So let's define a new function, update connected edges and let's go through all sockets so for socket in self dot inputs let's start with inputs and check out if the socket has an edge then go ahead and call socket dot edge dot update positions awesome and this should work but I believe uh, we need to add this method. So let's copy the name and go up to the socket, define has edge and return self.edge is not none. And this should return true if any edge is being connected here. Okay, so let's try it out and nothing is happened. Why is that? Oh, ta -da -da. Let me test this out if this is actually being called at all. Updating and otherwise go ahead and self say no operation like this. No operation, no operation, no operation. Because 
this condition failed so the sockets don't have edge hmm. so if the socket doesn't have the edge but when we are creating a edge we are actually setting up the sockets hmm. then it that means that the sockets when they were created they don't have any information about the edge so basically we are going to say that self start socket dot edge equals to self and for the end socket I need to test it if self end socket is not none and then we can go ahead and say end socket dot edge equals to self2 now when I press play yay they are being updated and as you can see they snap correctly okay so we were basically somewhere here in the node and we are going through all input sockets so in Python there is an awesome thing you can do when you got a list and then you add another list you will get all of the things together joined so we can type plus self dot outputs this now when I press play you can see everything is being updated now okay so this works I don't like this edge being direct so let's change it to uh, Bezier too and we were doing it here so we were setting the type equals to 2 and maybe let's go ahead and be cleaner a little bit we got edge edge type Bezier constant here like this we need to import that too so edge type Bezier like this ok play and now they are smooth and rounded round it. awesome look at that and they work this is awesome ok so last thing maybe we call this constant edge type type is a little bit obscure name and it's already being used in python so let's go ahead up to the edge and we can just shift f6 and rename this and call this edge type and pycharm will do refactoring for us so edge type edge type when we go back you can see the name of the parameter is edge type and it still works so everything is being fixed awesome so now we got connected edges 100% connected edges cool okay and to finish up this chapter I wanna get rid of the console log which I don't use anymore so in our case uh, there is starting socket and end socket being written out so these are these two lines and I guess uh, we already debug this and we won't be needing this anymore so that will keep, at, keep us with uh, edge writing out the uh, positions we don't need to see this now so I can disable, disable this now as you can see the console is clean and clear awesome and maybe we can introduce uh, some socket types maybe just with a different color for now so let me go ahead and go up here to the node editor window we are currently creating the sockets with uh, just a few numbers like this and that means that we can go up to the node and here is for item in inputs which in our case the item will be the number we just passed in the constructor 
so we can say that something like socket type will equal to item like this and let's go up to the socket add socket type by default this will be one and he and let's store the socket type to the class itself so socket socket underscore type equals to socket type okay and in case that uh, our sockets will carry on the functionality which will be different or we need to do some other stuff not just creating a different type of a color I would probably go to create some derived classes from this one and define the new behavior or logic inside other classes so we will be able then uh, create the gr sockets for each type each socket type we would define a new class which we would instantiate here like we did with the edges but in this case i just wanna have a different color of the socket for now so I will basically go and pass the self socket type in inside of the DM QDM graphics socket constructor. So here I can say socket type. And by default I will leave this as true or one. And here I can change the color. So we can go ahead and define few colors. So self underscore colors will be a list. And instead of writing this one, I will move it here. And we can say self dot underscore colors with index of socket type. But notice that the list starts always with zero. So let's create a few other colors. And I already went around and picked a few of them. So let's say 52, 82, 20. The next one could be 00, 56, A6. The next one could be A8. 6 db1 b54747 like this and maybe db e220 like this okay and i press play you can see our awesome socket get some awesome new colors yay so let's go ahead here and try for example, 0 to 3, 0, 4, 5. How many did we get? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So up to the 5. And here we can probably go and try 0, 0, 1, or maybe 2. I don't know doesn't matter they are looking almost cool note 2 these two are hmm. yeah so anyways let's keep it this way because it really doesn't matter you can choose any other color you like and this will be basically everything for this part so thanks for watching and see you at the next part